you just got your driver's license and now you're looking for the first car but the problem is you're pretty broke or maybe not so much either way i got a list for you we're looking to the best car for students in 10 different price ranges so if your budget is somewhere between 1 to 10 thousand then make sure to watch the video starting off in under a thousand category there are not really that many options here there is really only one car that looks pretty okay has good fuel economy and also is easy to fix and pretty fun to drive it is no other than the mark 4 golf with the 1.9 tdi but don't mistake it for the 1.9 sdi while it is pretty economical it's just way too slow this generation golf is also pretty easy to fix yourself and also cheap to run before buying inspect for rust this is the biggest and most expensive problem to fix in these cars. If you're a bit more rich, then I would suggest the 1.8 Turbo, but that would be a pretty hard to find car in a good condition. Also, if you don't like the Golf, consider other Volkswagen Audi Group cars in that price range, which have the 1.9 TDI. These are the cars to look for. Under the 2K mark, in this price range, you can look for something that matches your taste. Maybe you can get a good BMW that is not that beat up. Maybe if you're looking for something economical, you can get an Audi A2 or a Škoda Fabia. But what would I buy? Well, I would look for the best car overall. We need to be a bit sporty, economical, practical, and also inexpensive to maintain. That car is no other than the Volvo S60 with a 2.4 diesel. Preferably, all wheel drive but that's just a bit too expensive this is the car to buy in this price range but usually they have pretty high mileage if you can find one with about 300 to 350 thousand on the speedo that would be a pretty good deal for the gearbox it is up to you to decide personally i would pick the manual but if you are driving most of the time in the city or sitting in traffic pick the automatic under the 3k mark not that many options appear in this price range but one that sticks out and the one that i would pick is probably the 2 liter diesel bmw 3 series it is fun to drive it's economical it looks very good and it's not that expensive to maintain but again buying a bmw in this price range is a bit risky most of them are driven pretty hard but the good news is the people who do that usually pick the bigger engine like the 3 liter diesel or the 3 liter petrol but still check the vehicle thoroughly if you want something that could be a bit safer to buy i would recommend a toyota avensis or an audi a4 with a 1.9 diesel maybe even a fabia but i think it doesn't look that good as other cars but it's cheaper to run so pick which one you like under 4k now we're in the most riskiest price range because with this money you could buy performance sedan but they could turn out incredibly expensive after a while you could also look at some suvs but again you would need to inspect for rust the safest bet would probably be a ford fiesta and you could get a relatively new one in this price range if you don't like the fiesta the opel corsa is also a pretty good option but if you're looking for luxury and sportiness and are willing to risk then you could look into the bmw 5 series or an audi a6 c6 but before buying i suggest you find a mechanic that you can trust and who knows something about german cars because things could go south very quick and if you don't have a good mechanic you could see yourself taking your car to different shops and losing money with no guarantee that they will fix your car in this price range you can also find a decent toyota but usually they are not as fuel efficient and can be prone to rust but they will be cheaper to run and maintain under 5000 in this price range there's really only one car that stands out for students it's a blend of comfort safety and even speed it is the a3 with this kind of money you could get yourself a 2009 and up model with low mileage if you do some negotiation i would recommend three engines for this specific car the 1.9 tdi the 1.8 turbo and the 2.0 tdi for only 2009 and up cars 
because there was some sort of an issue with these engines. And overall, I haven't heard great reviews from friends who have owned a car with this engine up until 2008. If you can, try to stick with the 1.9 TDI or the 1.8 Turbo. You won't regret it. Under 6,000. I would say get yourself a Honda Civic. With this money, you could find yourself a 9th generation Honda Civic. The interior looks good, the exterior looks way better than the 8th generation. But if you're looking for some more fun car to drive, you could try to find an E92 in this price range. But as I said before, it's incredibly risky to buy a BMW under 10k because you just never know. And personally, I would pick the Civic and save up for the BMW later. Under 7k. If you're looking for something cheaper to run, you could find a Ford Focus or a Dacia Sendero in this price range. If you're looking for something more fun, you could get yourself a BMW 1 Series if you like the look of those. Personally, I don't. But I would pick the Skoda Octavia. It looks better than all the cars mentioned before. The 2.0 diesel is pretty powerful as well as economical. Under 8K. If you couldn't get this type of car in the previous categories, now you can get yourself an SUV. And there is really only one that stands out, and it's the Volvo XC60 with a 2.4 diesel. Powerful, very good looking, much better than the old looking XC90. And it really hasn't aged that much in the recent years. And it's a Volvo, so it's probably extremely comfortable and very safe. So get yourself an XC60 and you most likely won't regret it. Under 9K. You can get a practically new Ford Fiesta if you're really looking to save some money. But I personally wouldn't buy it. I would find myself in a really good condition Audi A5 with a 3.0 TDI and with an automatic. Preferably a coupe. But before you buy this car, check if the fuel pump has been changed and ask if the timing chain has been replaced. And if the exterior is also in a good condition, then you don't have to worry about it that much. I think it's the perfect car in terms of looks, luxury and performance. The only issue is that it can be unreliable. So don't say I didn't warn you. But with this money, you should be able to find yourself a pretty good one. And for the best car under 10k, I would pick the F10 BMW or the Audi A6 C7. But it could be extremely hard to find a good one under 10k and they would be pretty expensive to maintain. So for students, I would pick the Toyota Corolla. Get the newest one with as little as mileage as you can and you should be good. Shout out to Scotty. Anyway, that's it for the list. Which pick surprised you and what did I miss?